This is Alex Yoon, you're watching the Raging Ronin Review Transformers 3 Edition. Before I begin this review, I'd like to thank all my fans, subscribers, and viewers. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd also like to thank all the people that sent me information, and there are some people that actually were even on set. They were at the location where they were shooting, and then they sent me a message to give me some information. So I really thank these guys. I'd also like to give a big shout out to uh, Eastwood Clinton. Check out his channel. He's also got Transformers updates on his YouTube channel. So anyways, I appreciate that a lot so thank you and thanks for subscribing so filming at Washington DC is officially over and I think it's over for the rest of the United States but that doesn't mean that they are done with doing like pickup shots and reshoots they could be doing that there's no mention of where and when they're gonna be shooting for the international locations for security reasons anyways if you missed the Washington DC shoot I'll describe what happens hello yeah uh, five o'clock. I'm at home. What's that? Okay, what? A what? Okay. No. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay. Yeah, bye. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, bye. Oh, f Gah! F I'm in the middle of something, mother I'm in the middle of filming. Gotta help out my cousin do something. Bit of an emergency. Son of a bitch, mother f Just got back home. Had an emergency to take care of. But anyways, I'm back. So, where was I? Okay, the crew was at Pennsylvania Avenue doing this big, like, action set piece which had these three Decepticon SUVs known as the Dreads. They were just cruising down the, the, the road at high speeds, screeching and coming to a complete stop, and then the Nest team and the military start shooting at them. I'm pretty sure when, you know, they, they, they stop, they transform into the robot modes. Okay, everyone was wondering what happened to Barricade in the first movie. Well, it looks like he makes a cameo appearance in the third film because he reformats himself to an emergency response vehicle, and then Bumblebee T-bones him in an intersection in actually a real car accident, which actually took out Bumblebee's front bumper. Well, it turns out that the emergency response team was actually responding to a real bomb threat and they ignored the fact that they were filming on that street. So how does this affect the production? Well, it's a slight setback, but thankfully they have two hero cars. One of them is with tinted windows and one of them is with clear windows so you can see Drushai inside them. I don't know which was the one that got the accident, but either way, they're still going to make it work. So this is just a slight setback for them. Check out what Michael Bay had to say about the DC cops. Washington cops wrecked my bumblebee. <laughs> There's some rumors saying that it's going to be written into the film, just like how they wrote Shia's injured hand into the second movie. That rumor is false because Nelson claims it's false. And Nelson gets paid to say whatever Michael Bay wants him to say. Hey, if Michael Bay paid me to stick his hand up my ass and be a puppet and say whatever he wants, I'd do the same too. And while we're discussing my ass, do you remember the last video? Well, Megatron is in fact the fueling truck. Well, I'm officially convinced the reason why is look how badass that fueling truck looks. When you put things into perspective, yeah, I could see how Megatron could take on an Earth mode. He adds spikes all over it, puts chains on it. So this is the moment you've been waiting for. I made a promise that I was going to take this and shove it up my ass. Okay, well, here goes. This is for the fans. Oh, I need to take off my pants. The pants are off. Yeah, that's not so bad. Actually, that feels kind of good. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay, yeah. All right. I think it's in. Man, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, let me just push it a little harder. Don't do this at all. Okay, so I just read this spoilerific uh, details about the story. So if you don't want us to be spoiled about the story, Stop reading right now. Okay, so everybody knows that the Autobots exist and the humans and the government are actually still very afraid of them. So they're demanding that the Autobots be exiled from Earth. And that is exactly why you see the graffiti on the walls saying Autobots go home or no Autobots. So the Nest team is no longer an active force in the military. Therefore, they're no longer going to be around in case a Decepticon attack comes. So the military is actually, the regular military, they're going to attempt to be prepared in case there's another alien robot attack 
attack. Meanwhile, Sam gets a job. He gets romantically involved with Carly, who is the personal assistant of Dylan, a billionaire tech whiz. And to top things off, Dylan's also a famous race car driver. On Cybertron, Shockwave is actually going to lead an assault on Earth. They're looking for an artifact that was found during the USA versus USSR space race. The Decepticon attacks are then blamed on the Autobots, and therefore the humans want them off the planet. The Nest team still believe in the Autobots, and therefore they go against their orders and help the Autobots. Because the government is aware of a possible alien threat, they get the help of Dylan to construct the Wreckers, which is a program to weaponize Earth vehicles. A huge battle happens, but then Dylan decides to survive on his own by helping the Decepticons get the artifact that they want. And there you have it. I don't know when I'm going to make another update since they're not really shooting in the States anymore, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see some Autobots here and there and little bits of filming from the crew because they're probably going to do pickup shots and some reshoots. And there's going to be possibly some more uh, new uh, leaked information such as plot details and character designs, you know, concept art. So the big question on everybody's mind is when is the first teaser trailer going to be released? I would say that the teaser trailer is going to be out in December. Think of any big DreamWorks or Paramount movie that's going to come on December and they're probably going to slap that teaser trailer with that movie. This is Alex Yu and thanks for watching the Raging Roman Review. Peace. Don't do this at all. <laughs> Don't do this at all.